welcome back again to my youtube channel if this is your first time stopping by you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber you're welcome as well i just realized that i didn't do an intro i didn't do an outro to this tour so i decided to come on here and you know say something so it was sunday evening i know i had some things to do inside school and if i was going to go back home i knew i was going to be strolling back home you know lifestyle modification so i decided to just do this tour since i was going to be strolling around school yeah and if you don't know i'm a pharmacist intern currently working in the university of nigeria Masuka, and i also schooled here and i just graduated let me not act like i'm old or anything i just graduated september last year and i'm doing you know the one year compulsory internship i'm doing mine in Asuka again so i hope that after a year <laughs> I finally leave this place. So um, let's get straight into the video. Yeah. So guys, today we'll be passing through the second gate. The second gate is not as beautiful as the main gate of the school but it's under construction and hopefully it gets really beautiful when they are done with their construction look at a good view of the main gate but on this day i wasn't going in so i didn't get a proper view so guys let's continue with our tour i decided to do this in two parts one and two because i cannot exhaust all in this video so as you can see now these are the post graduate buildings yeah pg hostel pg buildings this is what you can see right now guys don't worry i'll soon come down from this bus and show you guys proper tall now this is the boys hostel in fact when i was doing this tour, i was with my sister so we were discussing and she was like oh wow the boys hostel looks more prettier than the girls hostel and i laughed i didn't even in fact the way i laughed i'm sure she already had an answer so guys this is the franco peach yeah franco pitch is where most guys play football and as you can see it's sunday evening and the pitch is full so many persons are there playing football the next place you can see is the unesco international center for biotechnology around this area you can also find the ict department you can also find the access bank atm so if you want to withdraw and you make use of access bank and even if you don't make use of access bank you can always withdraw from this point yeah access bank atm i couldn't take a video of the um ict center because so many persons were there and they were using wi-fi and i don't want <laughs> i don't want to capture so many people's faces now as you can see inside the school we have residential areas for lecturers and these are some of them and in some of their bq students also stay there so let's go to the next some of these buildings were constructed when i no longer come to this area and i cannot really say what they are but i know that the veterinary medicine department is along this area so the buildings might be for them so guys we're finally going into the places that i really really know this is the agricultural science lecture theater and next to it you can find pharmacy lecture theater for second year this is where they have their classes so if you're going to be in first year you need to know those two buildings very very well because you'll be using them a lot now since i was still in the bus this is just basically some of the agricultural science buildings agriculture cons and so on this is their building anything agri this is their area yeah and opposite that you can find their farmland where they farm and all that yeah now i finally decided to come down from the bus because i can take you from here opposite the agri department you can find two hostels which is um awolowo and aja that's awolowo hostel and this is aja hostel right beside it and beside the aja hostel you can find the student affairs building let me go closer so i can show you an up close view yeah that's the student affairs department of the school and beside it, you have this building they call malima building in the malima building and also close by you have restaurants offices shops in fact there's still a lot of things around this area you can also find fcm the atm around this area as well opposite the student affairs building you can find the cedr building and i can see that it's under construction in this building we get to have some of our entrepreneurship lectures and so on yeah 
Beside the CEDR building, you find the famous cover building, that's Faculty of Physical Sciences. In this cover building, you can find the Department of Pure and Industrial Chemistry. Yeah, and that's it. This cover building is really, really famous. Yeah, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and beside the cover building, you can find the Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences. We're going to go up close, but let me show you all around before we move. This particular building I'm going to zoom into right now contains the model pharmacy of the school. I'm talking about this building, it was initially used as classroom for faculty of pharmaceutical sciences. Yeah, but now those places have been turned into offices. Opposite the faculty of pharmaceutical sciences, you can find Bello Hostel, which is the hostel for pharmacy students. This is the hostel I stayed in throughout my five years in this institution and guys if you haven't watched my older videos on a day in my life as a pharmacy student and all that pharmacy school videos you can check it out in my playlist i have a pharmacy school playlist a pharmacy school slash unm playlist yeah look at this building it's so beautiful yeah beside the faculty of pharmaceutical sciences you can find the department of home science nutrition and dietetics Opposite the Home Science Nutrition and Dietetics, you'll find the Ayo Ita Hostel. Look at it. It's just beside Bello Hostel too. That's the Ayo Ita Hostel. Now let's walk towards the library. The library is the blue building you're seeing right now. It's just beside the HSND department that I just showed you the side view. So this is the library. It's Nam the Azikwe Library. I heard it's the biggest library in West Africa, as you can see. Yeah, let's go closer to the library. <laughs> and opposite the library, you can find the VC's office. The back of the VC's office, actually, it's not the front of the VC's office. But we're going to still go closer. This thing was constructed, I think, last year or so but it wasn't there in my first year yeah so let's go towards the vc's office right now So guys, this is the VC's office, but this is the back view. We are going to go to the front view of the VC's office. There are a lot of offices around this area. In fact, I feel like this is the middle of the school, right? Lots of offices are located here. And this particular building that you can see right now has the internal audit office and the registrar's office. Yeah, look at internal audit units, right? And the registrar's department. Yeah, this is... The office but let's go to the front view of the vc's office okay let's get going come with me guys Opposite the VC's office, you can find the Social Sciences building. Yeah, if you've heard of Social Sciences Abacha, it's at that area you can find it. You just have to walk a little bit forward. But today, I won't be going that far. When I do the part two of this video, which involves coming through the main gate, I'll show you guys definitely. So now, guys, let's go towards the bookshop and the PAA. That's another important aspect of this school this building is the building that contains the bookshop and this side is the paa the paa is a place where um a lot of activities go on this is where i was inducted into the pharmacy profession let's just say a lot of activities go on here wi-fi also goes at that point that's why you can see lots of students sitting at that point
just beside first bank you can find the container and you can find the old library these things are right behind the main library which is namdi azikoi library and in this container you have lots of vendors in this place they sell food they help with photocopying services lamination services typing services in fact you find lots of vendors here in fact if you're looking for anything to eat you most likely find it in this building that's the old library right there now let's go to the faculty of biological sciences this particular route leads to the stadium but we won't be going there today you can check out my old videos yeah so this way is the faculty of biological sciences and some other places i'll show you so let's keep going So guys, you can see the Center for Lion Gadgets and Technologies, right? And there are other places close to this Lion Gadgets and Technologies. We have our old pharmacy buildings. Let me go close to that building so that you guys will see like buildings that my dad used. Those are the old pharmacy buildings. This is the clinical pharmacy and pharmacy management department. We used to use it then for our anatomy, practical and all. But now those practicals have been moved into the new building. There you have the pharmaceutical chemistry laboratory. This one just in front. This is the pharmacognosy laboratory here. Some of these laboratories are still functional. They are not in the main building. Some are still around this area, right? You guys have to pardon me i really do not know the name of this particular building but the one opposite it that's this one i just zoomed into right now is called jimbas in this building i've actually had lectures there before and that was in my first year when we had our biology lectures and our biology practicals we do them in this building so they call it jimbas and that's where you find faculty of biological sciences let's just move on to the other faculties that are along the way so guys along this way you can find the lecture theaters of various faculties and department of the school there is this particular lecture theater that lives right through in my head and that's the physical science lecture theater in that lecture theater in my first year we used to have our physics lecture in that particular building sometimes we even have our biology lectures there depending on where the lecturer fixes it good on this particular day as we were struggling in as usual because we are always more than the capacity of the building so everybody is trying to enter the class somebody dragged my brains from the roots it was a very painful situation for me but that's the stress first years go through in this institution but let's move on to the other faculties here is the department of metallurgical and materials engineering this is around the faculty of engineering look at it engineering laboratory building you also have the Suez building right yep let's keep going to the main faculty of engineering this area you're looking at is the faculty of engineering This is the major ICT center of the school. Yeah, and there are lots of other ICT buildings close to it. That's the initial one I was talking about that I couldn't capture because so many students were there using Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's towards the front, it's towards the front. This road leads to Odin, which is a residential area for students, workers, and, and so on. We are back to the buildings we saw earlier because I'm finally on my way back home. And guys, we are finally coming to the end of this tour. This is part one. We've come to the end of this video. Please hit the like button. That's the only way I would know that you enjoyed watching this tour. 
and don't forget to leave me comments below i'm going to read and reply every single comment thanks for watching guys